Welcome, welcome, replay viewers. This is Chad having a walk in the park on a sunny afternoon. It's meant to be early spring here. Now it's still pretty chilly, it's only about five degrees Celsius, but it is very sunny. So come walk with me in the park. Okay, so this is my local common stroke park and I'm off to get some groceries but I'm going to go the scenic route via the park and as you can see it is a lovely sunny afternoon here okay so welcome I've got a bit of a glare with the sun but I see someone has joined so welcome my name is Chad I live in London I'm a uh, scope occasionally type person who scopes a lot about science fiction but today I'm just having a walk in the park so you can see a beautiful sunny afternoon in London and it is very pleasant not too much wind and um, great for a walk so we're just on the edge of the residential area here in the common and you see it's a bit early yet for any of the trees to start getting any leaves Uh, we we will get some soon spring is meant to have started on March the 1st so here we are on the 4th still feels a bit like winter but at least it's not raining or snowing here great so welcome hope you are all well That dog looked as old as his owner in the wheelchair. Great they're having time out together. So uh, I hope you are all well, wherever you are. I know this time zone I'm scoping at, it is local time of one o'clock exactly, 1 p.m. exactly in GMT. For you guys, five hours behind in America. If any of you do watch this on the replay, uh, you can obviously see it as your convenience, but uh, if you do join, I know it's early for you. But uh, I thought it'd be nice to scope, seeing that it is so nice and sunny. Okay, the trees do look good in the bathed in the light, in the bright light. So let's go under the railway bridge. So this railway bridge, the trains come from the south and go up to London going that way. So here's an under the bridge selfie opportunity. <laughs> Here we come back out. Whip it. So this is a part of town where loads of people have dogs and are always taking them for a walk in this park. Well, there is lots of green area, lots of space for the dogs to run around, which is good. But they've been cooped up indoors get exercise, owners get exercise, everyone's happy. Here's a nice cloud scape for you. So let's do a little bit more in landscape. Still quite a lot of surface water. As we have had a fair bit of rain recently and I think the wind is picking up so you might be able to get some wind wind noise on the mic but it is, I do have my Bluetooth headphones so hopefully it's not too bad lots of runners or 
waterways around here. Great. So here's it. This part of the park always seems to suffer from a little bit of flooding on the edge of the footpath when it rains hard. So we move on. So London, really the centre of London is generally in that direction there. Um, and the trains that go through this part of Plown go up to what we call Victoria through Clapham Junction, Victoria Station, which is you know very central in Westminster. Is there an opportunity for a reflection shot of the water, sun in the water there? Maybe. I must say, because we've had so much rain in the last 12 months, there has been almost no dry patches in the grass, sort of at all, during the summer of last year, right through in the autumn, right through to now. It's been green and lush. There has been so much, so much water. And in other parts of the world, don't have enough. Like Australia is one of those in California. So we're gonna go back to Portrait for a while. dogs are enjoying their exercise or they could be just juvenile greyhounds there's a look back at the where we've just come from. Hi, hi. Hi there, Dr. Who Girl. Welcome to my local park here in South London. I'm just having a little walk to the shops via the park, so the scenic route. And it is, well, the cloud has just sort of gone over the sun there. Yes, it is a nice day here. It's chilly though, still chilly, five, about five degrees Celsius, but not bad for a good walk if you wrap up. So, so I've got my hat, got my Bluetooth headphones, I've got my nice woolen beanie here, gloves. I'm all right. And we can walk. As I say, this, what's he barking at in the tree there? No, I don't have any dogs, but there are lots of dogs around here who are being exercised by their owners. Obviously there's something up, there's really a squirrel up there in the tree. Can we see anything at all up there? Oh, it's difficult really. We'll just keep going. These are the trains, these trains going towards London, central London. In the park, no, it's just the law that you've got to uh, clear up after your dog's mess, but no, they can run off the leash here. It's a common, it's called common land rather than a park here. So it's not sort of a, an ornamental, organized, very formal park. It's more of a common land um, where there's lots of free open roaming spaces and the dogs are allowed to roam. You've just got to clear up after your dog. Now I've never owned a dog. Welcome. Welcome, Youth's Block. Oh, Sunshine. Oh, Smarts. Oh, Smarts Time. Sorry, it's a lot of glare here, but welcome 
to the scope. My name is Chad. If you've not joined me before, I live in South London and I scope a few things, but mostly science fiction stuff. Today I'm just having a scope through my local park because it's nice and sunny for a walk. But if you do are interested in science fiction conventions, science fiction writers, or anything around that th theme, then hit the follow button. Go down there, hit little man, follow me, and I will be scoping uh, a science fiction, quite a well-known science fiction writer, at the 23rd of March, uh, to having her being interviewed, and she's going on to be guest of honour at the uh, British Science Fiction Convention in Manchester during the Easter weekend. Okay, more details to come as to who that will be, but uh, I will be scoping that. And throughout the year, there's writers' talks every month on the last Wednesday of every month, as well as there'll be conventions during the Summer Science Fiction Film Festival in May and uh, Sci Fi Geek Convention which is, covers all general SF movies, TV and books, as well as the internet in August, called Geek Fest. And that will be in Hammersmith in London. No doubt, Doctor Who stuff too. <laughs> so most of my previous scopes... <laughs> Thanks. Of course, so much glare here. Let me take off my sunglasses briefly. Um, all my previous writer's scopes uh, of interviews are on my catch page. So if you want to check them out, they're still on there. And I've done at least four now on Periscope. Um, so, you know, catch.me forward slash lapswood8, uh, including the most recent one, which was last month, which was Gareth Powell, the famous ACAC attack macaque author talking about his previous work and his new projects. That was good. Yeah, there's a whole hour and 10 minutes scope that, so that was really good. Good interview by Peter F. Hamilton did the interview. Okay, so can you hear me okay? I hear you giving me hearts, but it's the, how's the sound quality? sound is great okay that's good because uh the bluetooth connection between these headphones and this phone is usually quite steady well i'm only a, about a foot away from each other so that's good so we're gonna keep walking so i don't know uh you know how long you can stay with me but i reckon about another 15 more minutes maybe 10 to 15 more minutes on this scope where i'll keep going through the park until we get back to the actual shops which i won't scope but uh, we're going to go through a woody area coming up across the road here. Jogging with your dog. So. Let's be careful crossing the road here. It's quite not that busy, but still with this humpback bridge here you can't see the cars until they're almost on top of you from this direction right i think we're okay now oh sorry i missed that comment i was looking at the traffic could you repeat what you just said please carol BRB. Oh, it's muddy here. Woo! Underfoot. Should have brought my Wellington boots. You'll be right back. Okay. Well, I'll still be, I'll carry on the scope for about another top 10 minutes. But you can see it's muddy. So I'll be very careful gingerly walking along here. Yeah, so this is the the woody area of the common but it can get a bit muddy if it's wet and uh, 
I haven't necessarily got my best boots ooh, on. Well, we persevere. You can see the treads of something with a wide tread going through here. What could that be, something with such a wide tread? Is it a quad bike? It's not a real car. Coming back the other way. All right, so let's just get around this bit here. Ooh. Okay, good thing I've got long trousers on these bramble hedges are sharp on the edge here. Okay. Whew. A bit more hedge. All right, so we're coming up to a glady area, a glade within this wood that I always quite like and in the throughout the year it always looks so different looks great in the autumn with the leaves turning colour and the carpet of fallen leaves but there's a lot more light in the glade at this time of year because of the fact there's no leaves no canopy so we are Oh, a bit harder underfoot here. See, someone's been busy here piling up this wood against the tree. I hope not to set light, as that would be a bit of not very good. I think they had created a sort of a a hide, maybe. Yeah. But you can see that the trees here are a bit spaced apart, so this is a proper glade. And these are the birds that live in this woody area. Can you see? The crows. There's loads of them around here. They live on this bit of common. Let's keep going. Okay, let's just take a look on the other way around for okay, so let's have a look. There's a bit of a wide angle effect on the front camera on the Galaxy Note 4. And you can see there's a bit of a flare. You can see no, almost no trees in the canopy. I mean, <laughs> leaves, that is. Okay. And we go on through the woody area. To the main road. So, if you are watching this on the replay, there's a five more minutes uh, max of this scope. So, thanks for sticking with it. As you can see, there's not been too many live viewers, but at, uh, at least you might be seeing something a little different to what you can normally see where you are. A nice woody park in England, in the south of London. There's an alternative route there. Oh, you're welcome back. Welcome back, Carol. So, I've just gone through the Glady area, which was back there. And uh, you have to see the replay, because I just basically took your walk through there and did a 360. Yeah, the, the trees look lovely. They're quite... Um, Encha well, enchanting, magical looking. It's quite a 
interesting wood lots of vi ivy going up the bark there so the trees aren't shall we, shall we say that they aren't similar to each other they're all very different to each other and interesting this particular tree i always like especially when it's in the springtime when there is lots and lots of leaf cover this one comes right across the path that we're going on and hence turns into as it frames the pathway so i like this one so uh yeah cool so we just you can see the roadway's not too far away so this scope won't will end in a, maybe three minutes but i've just got to negotiate this bit of muddy path yeah thanks <laughs> It's definitely some kind of tracked vehicle been coming through here that's bigger. Must be a, must be a dirt bike that's bigger than a, you know a, bi a cycle, bicycle. Oh, that's soft underfoot. Whoa, nearly fell. So, coming up to the main road. We cut across here. There's a little pond there, which nothing usually happens in. Let's just see how full it is. It might actually not necessarily be a pond most of the time, but water has collected there. These silver birch trees here, they're one of my favorite trees around these parts, silver birch, love the color of the bark. Okay, we are nearly at the main road and then we'll walk up the side here following the pavement. through the puddle gingerly okay coming to the edge of the common area so that's the woody area I was just walking through you can imagine this looks very different when the leaves have all come out so i'll definitely scope this same scope in about two months so the first week of may ish and we'll see how different it looks anyway thanks for watching if you were watching on replay thanks for the live viewers that dropped in to the scope and uh, hope you all have a really good Friday and looking forward to the weekend whatever it brings you and whatever the weather whether it's snow or sunshine or hot temperatures or wind or rain have a great one so, bye everyone, see ya, okay, take care.